Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, January 17th, 2018. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. There's that old saying that goes something to the effect of you can't teach an old dog new tricks. But from where I'm sitting right now, it looks like there might be something new going on with Germany's version of the Big Bad Wolf. Last week, Dennis Wolf started making headlines again when new update photos surfaced of him training alongside longtime friend and coach Dennis James as he prepares to make his return to the bodybuilding stage following a dangerous spinal fusion surgery last year. From what we can see at least seven weeks out now, Wolf looks like he's at least getting close to having some of that size he had when he was at the peak of his powers a few years ago. But given the insane talent level we're going to have at this year's Arnold Classic, it's going to take a 100% Dennis Wolf to come back and earn a spot in that first call out. It was right around this time a few years ago that Justin Compton was making all sorts of headlines as he was gearing up for his first career Arnold Classic. And despite the fact that we won't see him up in this year's lineup, today's bodybuilding's version of Half Man Half Amazing is still making headlines thanks to some bold predictions he threw out last week. On his Instagram, Compton went on to record that he thought he was finally going to see the year where Ruley Winkler locked up his career-defining moment with an Arnold Classic victory. And after seeing the latest round of updates from Ruley and his team, at this point, it's hard for me to say that I disagree. Anyone who knows Justin Compton knows that this guy just eats, sleeps, and breathes bodybuilding. So now that he's officially laid down the gauntlet, let's see if Ruley and his crew are ready to step up and rise to the occasion. A few weeks ago, I spent the entire weekend binge watching Narcos on Netflix, and I came away thinking that the import export business is something that Colombia does pretty damn well. And apparently, nowadays, they're looking to import some of the top talent that the IFBB has to offer, including men's physique star Ray Edmonds. Over the weekend, Edmonds announced on his social media that he was planning to bring his talents to Medellin, Colombia next month to hit the stage for the first time this season at the Sheru Classic, which suddenly seems like it's shaping up to be one hell of an event. And as far as exciting young talents in the men's physique division go, without a question, Edmonds is one of the names that's right up there at the top of the list. And I can't think of a better way for him to get off on the right track than by delivering the goods on time for all our fans down there on the south side of the border. In last weekend's NFL playoffs, we saw the Minnesota Vikings remind us all what makes sports so special with their miraculous come from behind victory. And a few weeks from now at the Arnold Classic, rising second year pro Kevin Ford will be hoping for a little bit of miracle action himself when he takes the stage to square off against some of the best that the men's physique division has to offer. Over the last two weeks, I've been keeping my eye on a steady stream of updates that have been flowing out of the Ford camp where I've seen the second year man start to look more and more impressive by the day. Ford really caught everyone's attention with his awesome second place performance back in his rookie debut at the Toronto Pro last summer. So now that he's had some time to retool the machine, it'll be interesting to see how he responds to the pressure when he's up there slugging it out on the biggest stage of his young career. Last year in the NBA Finals, we saw Kevin Durant show us that sometimes a little change of scenery is all that it takes to push you over the top into the promised land. And I think the Canadian big man, Tony Searle, is probably hoping for some of the same. Last week, Searle announced that he was officially linking up with the Camel crew out there at Bader Badai's Oxygen Gym in these last seven weeks for his Arnold Amateur Prep, where he'll look to clear that final hurdle on his way to winning a pro card that's been many years in the making. As always, when he stands alone, Searle looks like he's good enough to blow just about anything and everyone in his path away. So if he and his team can figure out what he needs to do to pull together that last 2% that he's been missing, I have no doubt in my mind that this kid will be up there contending for the win again in the first call out. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.